So beginning this year, I started off with, you know what, I'm going to do one thing that's like a good habit. And I, I, in January, I got off of sugar. I stopped eating sugar. Oh, really? And my intention on this was uh, I'm going to do one new good habit each month. You know, that seemed like a doable thing. Yeah. By the, by the time February hit, I had a chart, uh, D, you know, a weekly chart with 16 things I did every day, and I would, you know, knock those things off. And sometimes I didn't. Um, but that grew into 30, 36, 37 things that I do every day. And it's, it's you know, stuff uh, as, you know, simple as, you know, check the trash every day. Make sure the trash, you know, needs to be taken out and take out the trash. Do yeah. the crossword puzzle every day. Read a book every day. Read a little bit of a book. Um, and, of course, this was all in a sneaky way of getting me back into doing art every day because that got added to the list. Do the daily comic. Mm. Do the art. You know, and, and get into that stuff. Um, and on this little path that I, I started at the beginning of the year, I, I began reading a book and kind of walk, going through a workbook of, uh, I don't know where it is. Uh, it's called The Artist Way. It's by uh, Julia Cameron. Okay. I don't it's, know if I'm familiar uh, with that one. It's about recovering uh, your creative side and, and tapping into that, that part of your being. Hmm. Um, Ten years ago, if you told me I'd been, I'd be going through this, I'd be like, you know, fuck you, and you know, this is this is bullshit. But man, it, it's been it's been fantastic. I also started doing uh, Ivan Bernelli's uh, cartooning book, mm -hmm. so you know, I started putting things in my way that have helped me start doing the daily comics. Um, and I thought about the daily comics earlier in the year. And I did a couple of them. And then once we hit the quarantine time, uh, I really st I started kind of popping them up a little bit more often because I needed to express some stuff. Yeah. And one of those was May 1st. And then there was May 2nd. And then there was May 3rd. And then it just didn't stop. And I just kept doing it. Um, I didn't have any intention on... You know, it, it wasn't a planned thing, and I definitely left out the career and money aspect of it uh -huh. on purpose because um, I'm a, I'm really afraid that this could kind of all end if I start pressuring myself too much. I can see so that. So I've learned I've learned some lessons from past experiences, and I'm taking it very very slow with the art process uh i started doing watercolor stuff i started doing collage stuff um i'd love to learn collage to, stuff <laughs> it's, I, it's it's interesting it's a totally different uh mindset it, than, yeah than than art the art or illustration i started doing a couple other comics um i took drafting in high school and in college and i've always liked geometric designs and I've started doing these geometric designs, and I've got a couple on my Instagram where basically it's conversations between two geometric figures. Oh. Um, and uh, I also have a – this thing kind of sprouted out, um, and I've been doing it not daily but definitely, you know, uh, frequently, uh, this little robot that is kind of a cross between uh, Frankenstein's monster and me as a – uh, curse word laden, uh, 14 year old boy, right. you know, uh, <laughs> uh, but he's kind of fun. I haven't released him into, you know, the Instagram public yet. Okay. Cause I was I'm just looking like, through your feed right now and I was like, I don't see that one. 